Good morning students, this is Mr. Boscarini and for our unit on motion today I'm going to talk about speed. Now the learning objective of today's lesson will be for you to be able to measure the speed of an object. But before that let's talk a little bit about physics in general. We have seen that physics, being the science that studies the fundamental laws of nature, uh, goes into many different branches. We've seen various astronomy, various optics, various thermodynamics. Now, uh, the kind of physics we're going to do in class in this trimester is the physics of movement. And that has a name. We call that mechanics. So, mechanics is a branch of physics that studies the movement of objects. And I know that you might link the word mechanics to a tool like this to um, the mechanics indeed of cars or motorbikes but actually you will see that the uh, working principle and the, uh, the movement of these uh, cars and motorbikes is really linked to this kind of physics, to the physics of mechanics. In turn mechanics branches off into uh, smaller branches which um, are trying to answer two fundamental questions how things move and why things move so we will start with the first one and we will call that kinematics from a Greek word uh, kine that means movement just think about cinematography or kinetic energy uh, later we'll answer the question why things move and that will be the field of dynamics or more uh, specifically the mechanics of forces. So right now we're talking about kinematics, now how things move and we have to start of course by giving a definition of speed, a definition that you probably know already from middle school but it might be useful to go through it again. So we will say that the average speed of an object is given by the ratio, ratio you know it's a kind of division between the distance traveled and since we're using the international system of units most of the time that will be measured in meters and the time taken for the same reason it will be usually given in seconds if we write our word formula this is how it looked like speed equals to distance divided by time or as you probably heard it many many times distance over time now, you might have noticed how I use the word average speed and not just speed and there's a good reason for that because when I um, I'm studying the movement of an object and I just take into account the whole distance that object has covered and the time is taken, I'm doing an average because what happens in reality, an object may not keep always the same speed. Just, just to give an example, you're riding with your friend on a bicycle and you're lucky you have a bicycle lane all by yourself. So you're probably keeping a, a constant speed most of the time. But at least when you have a traffic light, a red traffic light, which you should stop at, then your speed goes to zero. Okay, so when I'm going to measure the whole distance you've covered and the whole time you've taken. I'm not taking, I, I, I am taking into account that for some time you stopped, but I, I, I'm not telling you what was your speed at a given moment in your journey. So that is a big difference between actual speed and average speed. The previous formula gives you the average speed. To see the actual speed, there's another way which we'll explore in a later video. And I've already mentioned the fact that most of the time since we're giving distances in meters and times in seconds, speed will most of the time given in a unit we'll call meters per second or in our more evolved way to writing meters times seconds to the power of minus one. But in everyday life we might find more often other units. For instance, you see here a speedometer and you have the speeds here in written, some numbers written in green and some numbers written in red. Those in red are in a very common unit here in Europe which is kilometers per hour. 
but if you're in the USA you're most likely to know this other unit miles per hour or MPH which are the green numbers over here but now let's see in practice how we can calculate the average speed of an object so let's see a worked example and what better example than the fastest land animal which you know is the cheetah now let's let's look at this example so we have a cheetah that can cover up to 500 meters in 20 seconds and the exercise is, is asking you to calculate its average speed so what we're going to do we're going to rewrite the formula something I, I strongly encourage you to do every time so speed equals to distance divided by time I look at my problem where is the information so distance where's the distance there it is 500 meters and I write it here how about the time there it is again 20 seconds and at this point I can do my division and not surprisingly I'll take um, a value which is 25 meters per second which corresponds to an astonishing value which is 90 kilometers per hour and this is the case where I want to find the speed I gave you the distance I gave you the time and you find the speed but what if in a problem you want to find one of the other two quantities namely the distance and the time here this is another case where you can be helped by the magic triangle we already found this thing in the case of density now we had three quantities linked together it works exactly the same way here you have the magic triangle for speed of course it's very similar to one for density but with different symbols d stands for distance v stands for speed and velocity which will be covered by another video and t stands for time so how we use magic triangle again you have to look what is the quantity I want to find for instance if I want to find the speed so symbol V I'm going to cover V and you see the form that's for division so distance divided by the time which is the formula already knew but how about when we want to find the distance when I'm covering the distance and what I come here is speed times the time and finally if I want to find the time taken in a journey I take the distance and I divide it by the speed so to summarize what we've found so far in a kinematics problem which involves only speed you might come across three basic questions the questions are how fast how far and how long and as you can see they refer to one of these three uh, quantities how fast is a question about speed to find the speed you do distance divided by time if I'm asking you how far I'm asking you about the distance traveled in this case distance is given by speed times the time and finally if I'm asking you how long I'm referring to the time and time is given by distance divided by speed in next videos we're going to see the quantities of velocity and acceleration but that's all for today goodbye from Mr. Boscarini